Hello traders, Joseph here again. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another edition of my weekly video. If this is the first time that you're watching this video, I want to welcome you and thank you so much for tuning in. And hopefully you're going to like what you see by the end of this video. And if you do, then please feel free to leave a positive comment. Uh, or you can even hit that like button or you can even subscribe to my channel. Um, any one of these things will be greatly appreciated. Um, so anyway, it kind of feels like it's been ages since I last put out a video for you guys. Um, I think it's been exactly a month to be precise um, but anyway um, I'm gonna try and catch you guys up on what's been going on um, in, the, in the world of the, the forex market so anyway I've got up a little bit of different analysis that I'm gonna do today I'm actually just gonna pick one single currency pair and I'm gonna try and break down um, everything for you guys so you can kind of see the you know the big picture the small picture and you know show you guys ways that you can position yourself to kind of take advantage uh, of any moves that the market is likely to make in the coming weeks so anyway um so the currency pair i'm going to be analyzing today it's the euro dollar um and what i'm going to do first of all is well i've got my chart on the daily time frame here uh because i did i did mention the big picture didn't I? so that's that's what i'm trying to trying to look at so so I'm looking at the, my chart on the daily time frame and the first thing I'm going to do, I mean it, it doesn't take a genius to know that this market is in consolidation and you guys can see there's no really any sense of direction. The market has just been moving sideways. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two horizontal lines, one at the top and one at the bottom. Any prices for guessing that this is a channel? Yeah, so we can see the market is in a channel right there. Um, consolidation sideways moving you can call it whatever you want to call it uh, but at, at the end of the day you can see that the market has just been bouncing around between these two lines I mean we've tested the, the upper channel more times than we've tested the bottom channel uh, but here yeah, this is the overall trend of the market sideways but anyway the main area I want to focus on this chart is just this here right here because there's a lot going on here that um, the, the you know the normal trader wouldn't see this, but there's actually a lot going on within this consolidation. So we're gonna do a little bit of structure reading first of all. So I'm gonna bring in my my little you know lines, my impulse lines, and uh, what have you. So we've got. So I'm gonna start here. So we got the the initial move or the impulse leg. I'm actually gonna change. Well, actually, I'm gonna leave it on on green because uh, green is actually important to what I'm gonna be illustrating right now so we've got an impulse an impulse an impulse move um, excuse me and then we had a retracement or an outside return um, if you would like to call it that and then we had another impulse leg breaking and close above the previous high so what do we have here ah some people are going to be saying uh, the market is bullish or bullish structure or whatever or what you can call it well, you're right. Um, it's a bullish structure, and usually, once you see a bullish structure, that is a sign that the market is about to be bullish. That is a sign that we're about to go into a bullish market, um, which is absolutely correct. And usually, with a bullish structure, you would expect the market, you would expect the next outside return or the next retracement to come in at the previous structure. So you can see that the market came back into the previous structure, and the market has done exactly what we said it's going to do simply because it's a bullish bullish structure so we had another move I'm gonna take all this move right here even though we had a little replacement right there but I'm gonna I'm just gonna ignore that uh, so we had another move forming another structure so right here we can say that the market is bullish we can't say that the market is bullish after one bullish structure but we can say that the market is bullish I said the market has done this so the market is bullish right now so we can go ahead and buy go on guys after you see a bullish structure, go ahead, buy. Well, obviously, you have to wait for you know whatever your plan says in terms of like you know where you're gonna buy when the market retraces, when the market comes into the previous structure, where your stop loss is gonna go. Yeah, you have to do a lot of the, all of that before you can even make your mind up. As if you're a professional trader, if you know what you're doing. Um, some people will just go ahead and buy, uh, which is fine um, as long as the market continues moving bullish. But if the market doesn't do that, then they're probably gonna end up blowing their account or you know you know smashing their computers yeah we've all we've all, we've all been there guys uh, but anyway my point is um yeah so we got the market is bullish right now so we had a little retracement back into previous structure I mean, we did it with no our, our asset return has not been threatened at all so we're fine 
and then we had another move so all those people that are bullish now are starting to make money and getting happy yeah we're making money we're going high but look what happened guys this is one this is one of the most important things if when I, when I talk about you know seeing the bigger picture in the, in the market this is one of the, one of those scenarios now for a normal trader for a trader who doesn't really look at the bigger picture those people that don't do their top down analysis you know you know if this line wasn't there I mean if I didn't draw this line at the start of this um, analysis most of you wouldn't even, would you know wouldn't wouldn't even know what I'm trying to explain but look at this is my point my point is the reason why I showed you the market on the daily chart and I pointed out this consolidation is because of this we got a channel here first channel second channel the top channel the bottom channel if the market is in consolidation nine times out of ten it's going to respect this channel and this is the this is the bigger picture is the the, the, the bigger picture and this is consolidation that's the word so even though we see the market being bullish here after bullish structure we found a bullish structure I mean if you pay attention to the to the, to the, to the bigger picture which is the market is in consolidation you expect you would expect this you know you would expect the market to respect this channel this resistance line so that when the market does something like this because this is what happened boom the market just came back down breaking the previous outside return is this a surprise no if you know what the big picture is is if you know that the market is if you, you expect the market you expect this to form a resistance you expect the market to respect this resistance you say this happens ah people are going to take a lot of losses but you should know as a trader the big picture always 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 you know wins when it comes to the forex. not always but nine times out of, out of ten the big picture is going to win in the forex market so if a market is bullish on a, on, a, on a one hour time frame and you switch over your chart to the daily time frame or the four hour time frame you see the market is is bearish you know in the long run that bullish structure on the one hour chart is not gonna last eventually it's gonna be bearish eventually the market is gonna go down. so you are really putting yourself you know this is one of those cases I think I'm sure you guys have heard the saying you know the, don't ever bet against the trend or the trend is your friend is the only one you've got in the forex market there's actually some truth to that so you gotta be careful how you play the markets you gotta be careful you know how you do you know um, and obviously like I don't wanna I don't wanna be one of those traders that is gonna like come here and you know tell you guys oh this is this is the way to do it or this is the right way to do it in terms of or oh, this is how you trade this is how you do this and that I mean I want to be a man of my words I mean cause that's probably one of the reasons why I've, 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 I've showed you my, my life account I've added my life account my FX book and you guys can view it for, for yourself any single time you know anytime you want you can go ahead and look at my results you know I mean the results are there for you to see I'm not just gonna come here and tell you this is how you do it and you know, I'm actually backing my words up unlike obviously I don't you know I mean I've, I've learned from listening to other traders you know without even needing to see their proof that they can trade or anything but but guys you need to be very careful that's all I can say so we had to move back down here yeah, back to the charts we had to move back down here we had a, an outset return and then we had another move back down forming a new structure low impulse leg retracement new structure low straight away we've got a bearish structure it's just like we did back here with a bullish structure we came into the resistance into the top end of the channel of the color of our cousin of our sideways market and then the market straight away forms a bearish structure so with a bearish structure I'm gonna just put a little I'd like to leave it as red uh, let me let me leave, leave it as red but let me just make it a dotted line there we go so so I'm gonna put this line here and the reason I'm, I'm gonna explain the reason I'm doing that in a, in a second so we've got a better structure here this is our outside return so you would expect this market after a bearish structure we expect the market to retrace 
and then continues the bearish um, structure and preferably I mean usually the market is going to retrace to the previous structure like we see loads of time here it's going to come back into the previous structure and in this case we did get the market coming back into the previous structure let me change that color to green uh, this is going to confuse a few people out there but I'm, you're going to get my point anyway stay with me you're going to see my point so we came back into this previous structure and then we had a pullback, a retracement and then and then another impulse left for me new structure high oh this is getting really confusing so what's going on here um, we had a bearish structure and now I'm using a green color I'm, I'm showing you guys another a, a bullish structure within a bearish structure what's going on here I'm, I'm a bit confused oh some of you are getting really confused right now but let me go back to my point of seeing the bigger picture guys this is the big picture you see a, a bearish structure here right now look at put your eyes and focus on the big picture where is the outside return of this previous structure of this of this bearish structure It's right at the top there so it doesn't matter if you're seeing bullish structure here the market can keep making bullish structures bullish structure it doesn't matter as long as our outside return is there as long as the market doesn't break that outside return this market is gonna be bearish this market is likely to form another bearish structure after this bearish structure so this is the big picture so it doesn't matter if you short the market there and you see the market come back not giving your profit target and the market started to rally there's no cause for you to get you know to be concerned because if you know structure trading your, your stoppers would have been above this outside return so it doesn't matter you see in bullish structure the market can, you can keep making bullish rough as long as it has you know as long as it doesn't close above that outside return you're safe so look at what happened under the bullish structure followed by another bullish structure so again for the normal trader who uh, for, for those new traders I mean we've bought we've all been there there's nothing to be ashamed of you know once you you know if you watch one of my videos where you know I think I explained about um, structure and how to make money in the forex market how you see um, um, a bullish structure you know which forms into a bullish um, a bullish market and you know they will come here they will focus on this we had an impulse make a replacement as a return new structure high bullish structure buy 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 yeah you're gonna buy there you're gonna make money the market comes back into the previous side you're gonna buy again no no not for sorry I've, I've got a little bit of cold guys I really apologize for my voice I think you can tell from my voice um, but anyway so the market came back um, so we had a pullback again and people would have would have would have bought again not focusing on the bigger picture look at that period structure the outside return is still sitting there we had a pullback and in this case we didn't even get anywhere so what I'm gonna do is So we had another yeah the market came back didn't even get to the previous structure and then this is the time for me to change my line to red and then we had a move boom guys so all this bullish move all this 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 junk here that the market has been doing is all part of this outside return of our second bullish structure so you can see the small picture is the market is bullish but the big picture is that all this bullish move is just an outside return of the previous bullish of the previous um, downward move that we had it's just an outside return focusing on the picture always always pays so now I'm gonna change my color the color of my train down again to green ah oh, this is getting really confusing what is he gonna do now is he gonna predict what the market is gonna do in the future not really but I'm gonna show you guys what's happening here so this is where we are currently and we came into the previous structure now this is this is the this is what's gonna happen yes I'm gonna predict the future <laughs> no I'm joking but yeah seriously this is what's gonna happen so we had a move back into the previous structure so like, like you have different this, this different case scenario at, at this point in time I'm gonna bring this 
this down here because this is this is the most important thing right now I don't care about it this is the this is the current previous outside return so then again guys whatever the market is gonna do here whatever the market is gonna do now as long as this market doesn't close about that previous outside return there is a the, the chances are we are gonna see another bearish move preferably okay, let me just I'm gonna draw this somewhere in the future and uh, so this is my prediction for the future I don't care what the market is gonna do inside this place at the end of the day we're gonna see a move where's my oops we're gonna see a move back down into our bottom end of the channel so for all I care the market can make another can make another bullish structure here it can do what it wants to do come back here move back down do whatever it wants to do at the end of the day this outside return this is just going to be another outside return so no matter what bullish structure we're going to get here well in my case i'll be i'll be i'll be waiting for an advanced pattern because whatever happens here guys as a, as a trader if you're going to trade this because of this outside return this is where your stop loss has to go above this outside return so if you're going to short the market here good luck to you it's not a bad it's not a bad bad um what's it called it's not a bad technical analysis but it's likely to be a bad trade simply because your risk to reward ratio it's not going to be positive because you're risking all of this and obviously the first reward is going to be at the previous structure this way of your profit you're going to start taking your profit from there so if you short the market here this top is going to be somewhere there and your profit is going to be somewhere there that's going to be your first profit target so this is going to be a bad trade even though the in terms of technical technical analysis there's nothing wrong with this but it's going to be a bad trade or you can wait for this move you can wait for the, all this bullish move to wait to see a little bit of weakness on your rsi if you reach rsi wait to see a little bit of, of, of bearish divergence you know and oversold conditions because the higher this market continues to move, the better your risk to reward ratio is going to be. That's the truth. You know? Okay, let me just, I shouldn't have deleted it. So, this is the first scenario. If you do that, okay, this is going to be, might be messy. The second one is going to be there. Okay, if you short the market at that. I don't know what that is, probably of another, um, um, what's it called, um, um, a Fibonacci retracement line there. Oh, I think the best thing that's going to give you the best reward is that if the market does form an advanced pattern, an advanced pattern will definitely complete somewhere. If this, as I mean, you use that as your starting point, it's going to complete somewhere there. So, an advanced pattern will give you a better risk to reward ratio. But only one strategy is going to give you the best risk to reward ratio. Prices are guessing what strategy that is. If you wait for this market to come back into the previous outside return and forms a double top. But that is, that is, there's always risk associated to that. I mean, uh, but yeah. So depending on what you're going to do, this is the, the, this is the time where you wait for the market to see what the market is going to do. But now that you know what the big picture is, guys, do not get you know get do not get tricked into the fact that if the market if you see a bullish structure here, you're gonna think oh this market is gonna be bullish. You might be right, but you're not gonna be right for for a long time, because at the end of the day, this is what's waiting for this 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 move forming a new structure high. This is what I don't this this could, this move can come in here, here, or there or there. But at the end of the day, this move is going to happen eventually. So it's up to you what you do. You can drop this down to the lower time frame, try and find, you know, um, any advanced patterns or any, any kind of strategy that you're going to do. But this is just to kind of give you guys an overall. So always pay, you know, pay attention to the big picture. Always focus on the big picture because the big picture is going to tell you what the market is going to do in the end. Um, so you don't want to get caught off guard, you know trying to predict every single move the market you can't you can't do that uh, but anyway this is this is my take on the euro dollar um, 
I haven't got any open positions currently at the at the minute. Um, I think this week is gonna I'm gonna be sitting on my hands this week. I'm likely to be just sitting on my hands because we've got the long fan payroll coming on Friday, and uh, there's nothing really on my radar in terms of advanced pattern. There's nothing. Um, so anyway, showing you guys my signal service result. Actually, that was my life account. Um, okay, signal service results for the month of October. We ended up the month of October, another gain, 2.2%. Ooh, things are really going well. I'm taking 101 trades. So I'm only taking one trade this week. It was a pound yen cipher pattern, giving us an eight, you know, 30 pips on target one, 50 pips, a total of 80 pips. Uh, so as you can see, we've won the last, what, four trades in a row. So things are looking good. Month of October, 2.2%. Guys, this is we started this thing. So we only had one bad month, one losing month. That's the month of April. October, September, 3.3%, 5% in August, 7.6% in July, break even month in June, break even month in May, that's the bad month, April we had a 7%, that's when we had our drawdown, in March 9.6%, and when we actually started in February, 3.2%, 101 trades taken. 54 winners, 47 losers. I told you I'm a 50% trader. I'm only going to win half of my trades. But if I do that, that's enough for me to make money. Because at the end of the day, is the risk to reward ratio that counts. So, flipping over to my equity curve. That's looking really, really pretty, actually. Where is it? So, look at it. So, everything is looking good. 25% returns and just 10% drawdown. Those of you that know trading, those of you that what numbers, what what percent in terms of making percent returns in trading, know how good that is. And then again, you know, obviously, like I t told you, every trade that I've got with the with the little blue next to it, that's the trade that I've I've actually taken on my on my live account. So, from the month of October. Uh, so flipping, let me actually show you that my life because I'm actually keeping results like this on my live account as well. So this is my live account stats. Obviously, I started on the on the second week of of um of September, third week of September. So um yeah, 20 trades taken so far. I've, I'm actually trading more currencies on my live account than I am on my Signal service. So on my live account, 20 trades taken, 11 profitable trades, nine losing trades. Again, 50% trader. But I didn't really look at the numbers. Average profit 67 pips, average loss 52.6 pips, 4.96% in September, in October 3.5%. And, and again, all these trades, you can go on my, my, my FX book account, you're going to see all the trades there, so you get the total returns of 7.76%. You can see all my stats, the losses, the winners, the you know average pips, average loss, monthly gains. Can you look at my history? Check out all my trades that I've taken. Currently, like I said, I don't have any open trade at the moment. So, yeah, this is. I think that's that's all I can. I'm um, you know I've got to say. Oh, 23 minutes. That's that's a long. Um, I didn't expect to spend that much time here but anyway I think that's that's it for today guys um, I hope you know you can pick a lot from this this um, this technical analysis and try and help is gonna help you on your in your trading um, as usual so um, and if it does then please you know leave a positive comment is uh, you know, it's good to I'll always read your comments guys and see what you're thinking uh, but yeah so I think that's it from me for now and uh, I wish you good luck in the, in the coming week in trading. So, but in the meantime, keep it simple, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.